Well, this is the uh, absolute definition of a gloomy day. 50 degrees, rainy, cloudy. It's really dark. It's like 12 o'clock right now. I got some lures, one fishing pole. Gonna go down here and um, try to catch a few different species of fish. Uh, hopefully they cooperate. All right, we're down here below the powerhouse here. Don't have a lot of water discharging. So I don't know, there's, but there's still, but there is water discharging where there's a good flow coming out. There should be some fish congregating around here. I got this uh, bait school bag that I'm gonna be using. And um, it's got several trout lures in there, which there's definitely trout in here, but I'm hoping there's a lot of other fish in here today. I'm right, starting with the track down minnow. This is the custom colored one and the little jerk bait minnow. So I think it could attract quite a few different species, but I definitely want to see if I can get a catch a trout on it. I think this would be a better chance of catching something. Oh, 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 I saw that one. I had a fish, it came off. All right, I've already had two hits and I missed them both. What? Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the guys are yelling at me and uh, I hooked a fish. I don't even know what I got. That's a bass. <laughs> How about that? That's a big old spot. <laughs> I think they were asking if I was on YouTube. I couldn't hear them. It's so noisy right here. And, um, I just let my lure kind of dangle in the current and uh, we got a fish on the track now minnow. Not the fish I was thinking of, but I'll take that. What a cool spot. I'm glad to get that. We, we might go through a few different lures, but that was cool. It was healthy. Yeah. Oh, got it. Oh, I think that was a crappie. I'm throwing it down the bank. There's definitely some fish on this little edge. There it is. There it is. It is a crappie. Okay, I may have changed lures. Wow, that's nice. I love how pretty they are. Look how he ate that jerk bait though. That's pretty cool. He's not even hooked. He just has the lure stuck in his mouth. Okay, maybe he's, oh, yeah, I'm about to lose him. Okay, he was barely hooked, but mainly he had that lure in his mouth. That is a pretty fish. Probably a good 10 inches. All right, look at the eyes on it. They're green looking. Dude, these fish are so colorful. And it's nice, clean water. Nice fish. Dude, it's crazy how gloomy it looks out here today. So for the next lure I picked out, the uh, little Bobby Garland, we had uh, these little two inch minnows in there. And it came with jig heads, or a 1 16th ounce jig head. I kind of want to see if there's any more crappie, but also I think that's where the bass may be. Uh, if there's more bass living there too. And a trout could hit this and a lot of other lure, a lot of other fish that might be living in here. There we go. There we go. Wow. What is that? A bluegill. That... I don't even know. When I change lures to go for certain fish, I end up getting something else. That's a big bluegill though. If they want that lure, oh, they can get it. Okay, a big bluegill right there. We're getting our multi-species. I have no idea what's gonna bite next, but um, this has been interesting. Oh, there's a fish, there's a, that's a trout. Just letting it over there, uh, kind of twitching that little, oh man, that's the second trout at least that's come off. That one was on for a little bit. He was just rolling in that current. There's a fish. What is that? Oh, he's in the current, galley current. I don't want you coming off. Oh, another crappie. There we go. We got another crappie out of there. And this was actually on lures that you know, 
kind of made for crappie. Okay. Ooh, another pretty crappie there. Not a bad day. All right, time for the lure change. To get to beat you, man. <laughs> yeah. I watch all your videos. Uh, thanks, dude. I'm a subscriber. I actually found out about this place from your videos. Okay. So it's you're the goat, man. It's uh, nice to meet you. You too, man. Well, and you are it. freakishly tall. I didn't yeah. think you were that tall. All right, let's go ahead and change up. This is a little bit heavier. It's a one eighth ounce Roadrunner. And, it, and they are, they're pairing it with this uh, white grub. Of course, I could put the white grub on my other jig head if I wanted to, but I want to put it together like this, see how it does. Oh, fish on, fish on. We got something on the road runner. I didn't know if it was gonna get anything on it or not. Come on, where you at? Where's this fish at? Oh, it's right there. What is it? Oh, look at that bluegill. That was a pretty bluegill. Oh, I got hit that hooked in the uh, eye. Man, that's a colorful bluegill. Well, he got hooked weird, but he, I guess he was hit my lure. That's a pretty looking fish right there. There's a fish. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wait. Oh, no, it's not. Wait, am I snagged or? I can't tell if I got a fish on there or I don't. It's kind of weird. Hold on. Nope, it was snagged. It was just the current pulling the line. Man, I thought it was a good one. <laughs> All right, I'm just pulling off on the side of the road over here. Gonna hit a bur bridge. Gonna hit up a bridge I haven't fished since last year. I just drove through it. The water has just dropped. So you can see like a big flat area and there's a creek going through it. And um, it does get lower, but as the water drops, a lot of times those little channels really hold a lot of fish. I got a couple of new rods I'm actually wanting to try. Probably throw a few different lures and um, kind of just see what if anything's in there or what is in there. Wow. Oh man, I about, I thought I was going down hard on those rocks. I might have pulled a muscle. I don't know. <laughs> oh, be careful with these wet stuff. It rained earlier today also, so. Oh man, that was close. Okay. Whoa, whoa, what did I hook here? Right at the bank, I was like, I was dreaming. I was I was off of, um, <laughs> I was over here daydreaming. I just hooked something. Oh, it's a drum. <laughs> it was actually like over here daydreaming, just looking off in the distance. And this dude slams it. The first bite I've gotten, I'm just, I'm actually gonna, probably gonna move here in a second. Because I'm really looking for crappie, and this water's, I don't know, murky, but man, look at the color. He looks purplish. Does he look purplish? Is that just my glasses? I don't know. That's cool there. Little slab hunter. All righty. We got a drum to get going today. <laughs> it's like right off the bank there. Well, I ran over to another spot. It's another spot I like to hit in the winter. And it's also an area that it can have a lot of fish. So um, the first spot only caught one fish. This spot, hopefully there's more than one. Oh, oh, I see something right there. What is that? Oh, there's this. What is that? I saw a little fish cruising. Oh, it's a little large mouth. Tiny little guy. Well, he could have been eating shad though. I mean, he's big enough probably to get some of those in their mouth. They're small. A little large mouth. Golly. 
You'd think I'd be able to catch something, but I don't. I don't think I think he's ever even whatever it is is in here has ever even seen my bait or doesn't matter because there's so much other bait. There it is. Finally got me one. Skip check. Those things move around so fast, it's come and go. Well, there's what's been in there, hammering at stuff. I like to get on a bunch of them. It's kind of fun to catch them. This is a decent sized one, but they get big. That's what's in here. They're probably little groups of them just coming around, just like that right there, just attacking. Well, let's see if we can get some more down here. Oh, oh, there was another one. Oh, there they are right there. Come on. Hold still. Stay there. Stay there. There we go. The littler one. Ah, it came off. Let's see if I can show you just some of, some of the bait fish here. You see some of them. Thick schools of them. They're just all up and down the bank. So obviously there's a lot of skipjack in here, but there's so many bait fish. There's little bluegill and little bass. I think there's some big, I think there may be some bigger bluegill. So I'm gonna make a change where I downsize to a tiny little lure, one sixty-fourth ounce on a little uh, Bobby Garland itty bit. I don't know how far I can catch it on the six pound line, but that's an also I wanna kinda test it out. Probably not that far, but maybe far enough to catch some fish. And I think maybe this little lure will get some, maybe some of those bigger sunfish to bite. Oh, here we go. What we got? What is that? Oh, big golden shiner. Okay. That's a that's an example of downsizing <laughs> and catching bigger fish because they have tiny mouths. That's a big old golden shiner. Look how look at how small their mouth is though. It's another good man, this thing stinks. <laughs> I can smell it's another good catfish bait. But I'm not gonna catfish, probably not really playing on it right now or anything, so back it goes. Oh, oh. Here we go. And another golden shiner. Okay. I kind of wouldn't mind catching a few of them. Not what I expected today. Man, these are fat ones. They're like just really healthy looking. Everything's getting fat this time of year, I guess. Man, these things stink too. Goodness, those things stink. Well, that was from a couple days of fishing. So a lot of the fishing I've done recently is in little short spans. Winter's coming in, also I'm, I'm coaching basketball and different things are happening. So, and also when I go out, it's not as easy just to catch a bunch of fish most of the time. So it's a little bit harder and I'm going out searching for fish. I started off the video fishing with this uh, bait school bag and this is a new bag um, from uh, LureNet. And I did a full review of this on my uh, second channel. If you're not following my second channel, I got a dozen uh, live streams um, talking to different YouTubers. Got almost 50 videos on there, how to's and different things like that. But um, I'm not going to go into detail what's in here, but it was a great little bag. Got a lot of little stuff in there. And um, I caught several fish on it. And only thing I didn't catch was a trout. I thought I'd be able to get a trout for sure. But also, this rod that I used uh, in the video is a rod that I just picked up. And I'm, I'm always trying things. I want to try as many different things as I can. Whether I get them sent to me for free or whether I go buy them, I want to go out and test things. So I went to Bass Pro and picked up this. It's a Quantum Bill Dance exclusive. And, you know, I, I don't have any deals with Bass Pro. So, you know, I went and paid for it. But I saw it there and I had to, I wanted to try it out. It's a 6.3 light action. I put six pound mono on it, or I had them put it on there. And I got a Shimano 1000 size Sahara reel. And I love this little setup for multi-species. Now this is a 6.3, like I said, it's a light, but it's a little bit firmer. I tried throwing like the 164th ounce jig heads and it, this, this rod is not made for that. Um, it'll cast them barely, and you know, if you have maybe some four pound line or some braid, you probably cast them a little bit further, but it doesn't flex much, so it's a little bit heavier, but you throw a 132nd ounce, it does great. 116th ounce does really good. It feels, feels great on here, so you can actually, I think this is going to be a rod that I use for like bass fishing, 
uh, and like multi-species fishing where, especially if I leave the six pound line on here, I can really target a lot of fish, still it's got some power, and still light enough to throw some small lures, but it's not really a ultralight, like you're gonna throw trout magnets or, or tiny little lures like that. Not not what it's designed for. But anyways, I just, I would want to give you a review on that because you may have seen this too, and I was just surprised they made one, um, a rod, and 6.3 is like one of my favorite sizes for uh, multi-species and like multi-purpose rods. Hey, thanks so much for watching.